Welcome to Pack Valham and another pack collection video. It is time to walk down memory lane. I will explain the jokes and shenanigans of I Ball Off to Lie, which is a series where it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. The basic concept of I Ball Off to Lie is that I watch an episode of the Trolled series by DGR and I make predictions about it. For each wrong prediction, I eat a bean boozled jelly bean. A joke or shenanigan is anything that I find to really make this series priceless, which encouraged me to make I Bluff the Lie Season 2, filled with even more jokes and shenanigans. It could be a little joke that I made, clever editing that I did, something funny in the background, or something that is completely irrelevant to the basic concept of I Bold Off to Lie. There are many such types of jokes and shenanigans in DGR's videos and live streams, but they will not be included here if I did not add anything significant of my own to them. I will show the After Black things in their own video. If you want to control some of my shenanigans, for I Bluff to Life Season 3 and possibly beyond if I decide to do so, submit a response to my iSwitches form. If anybody has submitted any responses, you can see them in my iSwitches spreadsheet. I'll just briefly, in a nutshell, explain how the I switches work. So you can give me your name, you give me an if condition, which is like, what should happen to trigger the I switch? And then you give me a, like a then thing. So when the I switch is triggered, then this thing will happen. So if this thing happens in the video, then this thing will happen. Um... And you can also give or, or tell me if it should be continuous, which means after triggers one, it can once it could uh, trigger again. Like if this thing happens again, then that other thing will happen again. Or it could be a one-time thing. If this thing happens, then that thing will happen again, and then that's it. No more. All right. So in the previous video, we looked at these files, 16 files, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. Let's look at the next 16 files. Rendezvous. I Bell Off Lie, brand new E1. Big enough. Ah! Now, this one put a claim, not a strike, just a claim on part of an I Belong to Life video. It might do it on this video if I play this. And you know what? I'll just mute it. I'm not sure if the visuals here would affect it. So basically, I took big enough, and then... For the last scream, like the biggest scream... Actually, let me tell you what's happening. There's some there's a little bit of whistling, and then... Ah! 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 And then the biggest scream... Ah! I put DGR Dave's scream there. But... I mean, in the I Bluff the Light video. We have I Bluff the Light Brand New 3. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Pack Val. <laughs> I Bluff the Light Brand New E3.
DGR Evil Maple Leaf, eh? DGR Toaster. I bought the light actual good E1. Now I can say that this is going to wrap up this act. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Pack of Alham and another part of this episode of the I believe the lie actual good too I believe the lie series I believe the light actual good E2. That's going to wrap up this part of this episode of the I believe the DGR. Oh! <laughs> ah! I believe the light actual good 3. Hello, my friends. Welcome. Ten milliliters. So, if this recording is recorded today, the rest of this video was recorded yesterday, but, um, just today, um... So basically, one dose of the mouthwash is ten milliliters, and it tells me on the back, do not fill above ten milliliters. As you can see, I can take down, t or take 10 milliliters, and then 10 more, and then 10 more, you know, 10 each time. And eventually I will use 530 milliliters, because, you know, with the zero at the end, 530 is a multiple of 10. It's 10 times 53. So 53 times I take 10 milliliters. But I will have 2 milliliters left over. And... So, should I switch to milliliters at the end I've off the line left me one hello my friends welcome to Pat I've off the line left me e1 okay I just got done editing the main part of the video. Four. And then next time we'll get from here to here. Episode 2, Brand New. Part 1. Dave forgot about COVID-19. <laughs> Sorry King, if you're sitting right beside me right now, I would probably take your hand and kiss it, friend. I, I am so excited. Um, social distancing, Dave? Is virus going around? Oh my. Kissing your friend's hand is physical contact, and that is one way COVID 19 is spread. Just breathing next to another person is another way COVID-19 is spread. The Gone Fishing Bit
one needs a thorough explanation. Back then, I wanted to... I, Back then, I wanted to do my outros in a separate recording, but I had forgotten that in the previous video, I did the outro in the same recording. Still wanting to do the outro in a separate recording, I realized that and stopped the outro. While editing the video, I wanted to put something in, a filler, if you will, so to speak to separate me starting and not finishing the outro and me doing the outro in a separate recording. My father and I went to Ryan's friend's house to fish. They have a creek with fish in it. I hadn't been there before and it had been a while since I had previously fished, so why not? I didn't catch anything. I found a royalty-free image of a gong fishing sign by Stephen McCowage. Here is what I did with Rendezvous, the royalty-free music by Shane Ivers. I set the speed to 1.25 times, duplicated it, and put the duplicate ahead 8 measures, essentially making it like a cannon, but it's not really a contrapuntal canon. I am not going down the rabbit hole of musical counterpoint point blah. I am not going down the rabbit hole of musical counterpoint in this video. Part two I'm an adult with braces. I'm an adult with braces. I'm on it. Technically that also applies to me and it's applied to me since this past Sunday. May the third. The day I went fishing, May 2nd, is one day before my birthday, May 3rd. Since I was born in 2002, I turned 18 in 2020, thus technically making me an adult. I still had my ortho... Uh, I can't tell if I'm reading it correctly or not, that's why I keep restarting a lot. Thus technically making me an adult. I still had my orthodontic braces, so I was an adult with braces. This was my first I Beloved to Live video I made after my 18th birthday, which was on Sunday. So Sunday dinner then was also my birthday dinner, especially since we had cake and ice cream for dessert. Later in the year, my braces were removed, and after that, I made primer post braces. One of the few of my acts that I actually considered good, even beautiful. The title roughly means, first after braces. It was supposed to have some similarity to Novus Initium by Alexander Nakarada. I had an idea with a drone bass and an arpeggio starting one beat after the drone bass starts playing in a measure, and it ended up being a 9-8 time signature. I made a good beat for it in 9-8. In a nutshell, me realizing that I was an adult with braces reminded me of one line of Rub Some Bacon On It by Rhett and Link. Please excuse us. It's all about order of the operations. Oh my god. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Flipperty gibbered. Oh. Please excuse my dear Uncle DGR. Boondog. Oh. Boondog <laughs> keychains. Fine. In math, the order of operations is parentheses exponents, multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction. A mnemonic to remember that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Then, I changed it to, please excuse my dear Uncle DGR, because Dave often calls himself Uncle DGR. Editor me noticed there was copyrighted music playing in the background of the recording, so I put, 
Please excuse the copyrighted background music. What? 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 Oh, what? What is that telling me? What? What, what? is that telling me? Wait. Wait. What is that? Another layer. Dave, my father, and I said, what, a few times. By the way, that's three people, not two with me specifying that Dave is my father because Dave is not my father. Dave has two little daughters. Shrek the first. Another layer of the troll onion. Wait, is it a troll or is it an ogre? telling me. This troll course has layers in it, meaning you think one thing is happening, but you find out another thing is happening. But then you find out that is not correct either and some third thing is actually happening. The more layers there are, the more actual things you see happening instead. Does that make sense? With so many layers, is it a troll, or is it an ogre? There was one scene in Shrek where that ogre guy, whatever his name is, said that ogres are like onions because they both have layers. Part 3 Too loud, too loud, too loud. Oh. Yes! That's too loud. That's too loud. During the early stages of the pandemic, Green Solutions, the local carpet cleaning business my father works for, had very little business. Their business was great before. The owner of Green Solutions, his wife, who is my father's cousin, and their daughter, who is my second cousin because that is how cousins work, attended my birthday party in 2017. Their first names are revealed in the video. The reason why I asked, is there something sour in here, is because I could see the Sour Patch Kids in the bag before removing the tissue paper. Fast forward three years, we are in a viral pandemic and Green Solutions business greatly slowed down. To make up for it, my father took a temporary job as a, as a shelf stalker for some obscure snack company that I am not sure you have ever heard of called Frito-Lay. My father had to get up very early in the morning, so he went to bed very early, so I had to be quiet while recording before spending the night at Nana's house down the hill, which I had done occasionally before, but not nearly as often as I did in the spring of 2020 while my father worked for Frito-Lay and just to make this run-on sentence longer, I will mention there was one time my parents went on a carnival cruise when Ryan and I were, were children, age-wise, not just how we act, and we stayed at Nana's house for a week and our parents gave us Funship Freddy dolls after they came back. Not to be confused with Funtime Freddy from Sister Location, which did not exist back then. Too much, too much, too much. That was a doozy. Is that better lighting? That better lighting? That better lighting for you? Yes. Okay. My mother went into the bump out. Bump out, not bum pout. And turned on the light. 
which may have improved the lighting condition behind me. Snort. What a snort. I'm legitimately intrigued. I found Dave's snort funny. I shared Dave's snort with my mother, who went into the bump out. Bump out, not bum pout. And turned on the light, which may have improved the lighting condition behind me. Lou, Lou, Lou. Oh, that was it, that was it, that was it, that was it. That was it. This is just a funny moment. I loo loo looed along with Dave. Dishwasher noises. That wraps up this part of this episode of the I Bob Off the Lie series. If you are smart, click the like button. If you're a genius, click the subscribe button. My outro was simply interrupted by dishwasher noises twice. Part 4 Two videos in one day, part A. Two videos in one day, what? The video that I uploaded earlier was recorded last night. I will get to this one in the next video. Look at that face. Hey, look at that face. Ah, I can't make that face. Dave made a funny face, and I tried to mimic that face, but I couldn't. I meant anticlimactic. So, what was, what the bomb blew up that was anticlimactic? This episode is anticlimactic. I, can I even call this I Blew Off the Light? Well, I already did, already did. I seen set up, I'm recorded DGR. I, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the video, but I will figure it out. Climatic refers to the climate, and climactic refers to the climax. I put P. Bean Boozled S. Kids in this video because the next Trolled episode hadn't been uploaded yet. In the order of when I started, P. Bean Boozled S. Kids was my previous Bean Boozled series. I have since then retired the series for a few reasons. 1. Those games are too easy and simple for me because they are designed for children as PBS Kids is designed for, so I wouldn't be eating Bean Boozled as much. 2. You can see in this I Bought to Buy and P Bean Boozled S Kids video that a lot of the games and even TV shows don't exist anymore. The Wayback Machine can't even access some of the games that I tried to access. I guess that's just two reasons, not quite a few reasons. This sub-series of pack collection, which has nothing to do with Paco Raban, whom I did not know about when naming my pack collection series, is supposed to be about Ibaloftali. Despite that, I will continue this pack collection video with P. B. Boozled S. Kids. Caillou. Did they remove Caillou? The show was cancelled and removed because it has caused controversy with the titular character acting in ways that should not be shown to its target audience.
because children should not act in the ways that Caillou has acted. Where are the games? Twitch. Oh, more games. Characters.com. Before this, there were several games, which I do find later in the video with the Wayback Machine. Marching Sloth. Lurking Sloth, the background music, kind of sounds like a march. On the game's page, Caillou was marching with a bass drum. I like a good puzzle. Find Gilbert. Find Gilbert. I missed the opportunity to put a picture of Gilbert Gottfried on the screen and say, there's Gilbert. On second thought, that seems more like something I would do in I Bluff to Lie Season 2. Fortunately, I can give myself a pat on the back and tell you that I haven't skipped the opportunity to show my superintendent of creativity that I dug myself into with people and characters among other things in Season 2. I have referenced six of them in the previous sentence. If you can, put your guesses in the comments below indicating the name of the person or character and anywhere in Season 2 that they have appeared. Finger Trick Eric Surf Eric Surf Six can do it. Can you do it? Oh yeah. No, I am not the Kool Aid Man, but this person may have taken some inspiration from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Malice in Wonderland. Sure. Look at that! The birdie is flying away! You can put a tombstone on the screen and say, There's me. What? Tombstone? Like Ray Billings from BattleBots? Speaking of BattleBots, I was acting like Martin Mason and his robot is Mad Catter, which is a combination of the Mad Hatter and the Cheshire Cat, both from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Gilbert is the name of Caillou's cat. What did Gilbert Gottfried mean by putting a Tombstone on the screen. The last straw. This is not working. This is not working.
Rush sounds similar to Madness of Linda, which is also called Madness of the Office. So everything in the video was anticlimactic, but P being boozled as kids and the background music made it comedically anticlimactic. Typo recorded. Today's Friday, tomorrow's Saturday, Dave upload another episode, so we'll actually get some good action going tomorrow. The text on the screen explained what happened with the two videos in one day. I didn't mean to make the recorded typo, but I said one the screen here to be funny. And now I have explained the jokes and shenanigans of the first episode. There should be an info card up there somewhere. And now I have just finished with the explanations for episode two. And next time we'll get to episode three, which is the actual good episode. If you are smart, click the tomb step. Wait. That makes, that's why he said I could put a tombstone on this. Wait, if he's dead, then who said you could put a tombstone on the screen? If you're smart, click the like button. If you're a genius, click the subscribe button. You will see me next time. I won't see you yet next time because I can't see you. But obviously you can see me, and if you watch me next time, you'll see me next time. You can put a tombstone on the screen and say, there's me.